Hey everyone, uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to be working on the activity 6.2 applied statistics activity. And up until this point, uh, what we have done so far is uh, we have created two documents. We have our applied statistics activity Google document, and we have our applied statistics uh, Google Sheets document. And uh, for the applied statistics Google document, we up until now should have answered questions one through and two, uh, calculating all the summary statistics of our own personal set of data, which was the 27 puzzle cubes that we measured. And then now what you're being asked to do in question number four is add more data to your puzzle cubes. And so there's going to be a class set of data. So on this document here, we're going to go ahead and start with question number four. And here is the original set of data that we've calculated. Again, all the summary statistics, and we got our bins and our histogram. And this is what our data originally looked like based on our set of data. So now we're going to go ahead and look at number four. And it says, name the sheet Puzzle Cubes class data. So we have to create a new sheet on the original sheet. Uh, that we were originally working on. So in order to do that, what we're gonna have to do is go down to the left-hand corner and we're gonna click the little plus sign down here where it says add sheet. When it does that, it's gonna create a blank sheet uh, that you will uh, now be able to work on. It's kind of like page two of the same document. So I don't want you to create two different documents. I want you to use the same document we originally created and then just add like a page two. Now yours probably says sheet two, mine says sheet eight. Uh, that's no big deal. Um, and so we're gonna name that uh, Puzzle Cubes class data. So we're gonna come down here, right click on sheet two, rename it, and we're gonna call it Puzzle Cubes class data. And then you can just click in any cell uh, in the blank sheet there. Uh, the next direction is says, we are going to go ahead and click on the class data link. And we're just gonna go ahead and open that up. And that's gonna open up another Google Sheet, but this time it's gonna have a whole list of data here uh, from your classmates. And in actuality, it is uh, referring to 10 other students in your class. And the data has already been sorted on the sheet, but we're going to have to resort it once we add it to the new sheet. So let's go back to the directions. And it says, copy your puzzle cube data and paste onto the new sheet. So now it wants to copy the data that you originally created. So we're going to go back to our first sheet. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and copy some information here. So let's see if I can move this out of the way, our original histogram chart. All right, so here's your original 27 cubes. We wanna include that in our data. Uh, we also have the summary statistics. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy a bunch of the cells here. So I'm gonna copy all this. If you just highlight it in blue and then hit Control C, uh, it'll copy all those cells including our 27 cubes there. And then we're going to come back over to the Puzzle Cubes class data sheet, click on that. I'm going to go in, click in cell A1, and then hit Control V, or you can right-click Paste, and then it reposts all that data that we originally had. And so now I'm just going to widen out these cells. If you kind of click in between each one and you see the little double arrow there in between the columns, it will spread out the data for you so you can read it all. And so now we have all the data that we need for the original 27 cubes. But now we need to go, according to the directions, is copy the puzzle cube data of the 10 other students and paste it under our original data. So now I wanna grab all this data here. Okay, and it's gonna go all the way down to cell A2. 72 there, okay, and we're going to copy that, control C, go back to the data sheet that we were on, and we're going to add that to the bottom 
Okay, so make sure it's underneath your 27 cubes. Go ahead and paste that in. Okay, and so now we have a much longer list of data. But what we want to do is we want to sort this data again so that it incorporates our 27 cubes with the 10 other students, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and click on the cell. I'm now going to hit data and sort range, and we're going to sort it from A to Z. Now, again, what happens is it's going to place the puzzle cube within inches all the way at the bottom. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and copy that. Uh, put that there. I'm just going to make it see for now. Highlight all my data again. And I'm just going to do a little shifting around here. Okay, so I did a little manipulating of the cells and the data, and I just basically uh, cut and paste the data, uh, retitling the row in, or the column B with puzzle cube within inches at the top, and then again, sorting A to Z uh, from least to greatest, uh, my column B with uh, the data set of my original 27 cubes and the data set of the 10 other students. So um, you'll be able to do that on your own. Um, you can, but you can see them all listed here now from least to greatest. All right, so now we're ready to start trying to uh, determine some of our summary statistics. And then again, we are going to create our bins and then our histogram. Okay, so uh, the first thing we need to do is now highlight all of our bins, just like we did the, in the first 27 cubes, highlight all of our numbers in our data set. And we have to give these this uh, range of data a name. Okay, so we're going to highlight them all again. Just go a little faster here. Okay, and you'll notice now when I get to the bottom, my data goes all the way down uh, a few uh, rows here. Uh, and so I'm going to go to data. I'm going to go to named ranges. Okay, and so I want to call this. Um, cubes two. Uh, if you remember, we named uh, our original 27 cubes cubes one. So now we're going to call it cubes two and we'll hit done. Okay, so now that's going to allow us, I'll go ahead and close that. Uh, now that's going to allow us to create our summary statistics uh, by finding each one. So our mean value is again we're going to use the formulas that we did last time and one of the things that i suggest doing if you don't remember the formulas i'm going to show them what they are as now you can always go back to your original set and if you click in the cell here's a little trick if you click in the cell where we originally found our mean value for our, for our just our 27 cubes um the the uh, formula pops up right here in this f of x uh row here above our data. So we're going to use equals average and then use our name range, which was cubes one. And now we'll use cubes two. So again, we're going to type in equals average. Okay, we just want the one that just says average. And then we'll say cubes. We're going to make sure we have cubes two, close parentheses, enter. Okay, and same thing here, equals need median cubes to close percentages, enter mode equals cubes to close parentheses, enter. Okay, now for our range, um, you again are just going to, to use your calculator on your phone and you're going to subtract the uh, largest number or the smallest number from the largest number. And so if I do that, my largest number is uh, 799 divide, minus 705. 
So my number is now going to be 0 0.094. Okay, so I'm going to just have that stand out. So I like to bold it so it stands out a little bit more. Maybe I can make it a little bit larger. Okay, and then now we're going to find our standard deviation equals B. Uh, and then we're going to choose standard deviation A, which is our sample. Since even though we have more data, it's still not every single member of our class's data. So it's still a sample set of data. And then again, cubes two. So now we have all of our summary statistics. Okay, and you can see uh, the mean value is about for mine is about um, 758, median is about 757, mode 752 with a range of 094. And then we have a standard zero deviation of uh, 0.0196. Okay, so now we need to create a couple more columns just as we did last time. So we're going to call this one bins, we're going to call this one histogram. Okay, and so now we have our Bins here, just bold them, title, right? Okay, so now how are we going to create the bins? All right, the bins, as we did last time, how many bins did we want? We wanted somewhere around 10 bins, okay? So the best way to try to calculate how many bins I need would be to then uh, look at your range num of numbers, okay? And in this case, obviously, my range is a lot larger than I had last time. If we look back, on our previous set of data, um, my range was only 22 numbers. Now I have a range of 94 numbers. So my bins, I can't use the same value that I did to calculate my bins last time. So if I wanted to create about 10 bins and I divided this, so you're talking about nine, uh, adding about 0 0.09 to each one. So in this case here, I'm going to go ahead and divide this up by 10, but I'm going to go ahead and add 0 0.01. And so to each of my bins. And as remember, we want our first bin to be less than our first number in our data set. So it's 0 0.705. So I'm going to use my first bin as 0.730. Okay. And then to calculate the bins uh, that I want, since I'm going to use uh, 0 0.01, um, that means I'm dividing it by 10. I'm going to add uh, 0 0.01 to each bin uh, to give me about 10 bins um, to cover my last set, which is 0.799, or last piece of the data, which is 0.799. So to do that, I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to do equals. I'm sorry, equals. And I am in G8, so I want to reference G7. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit plus, and I'm gonna do 0 0.01, enter, okay? And then I'm gonna click back in that cell of G8, and I'm gonna kinda go to this little box right here, left click and hold, and then drag down, okay? And I just want about 10 bins, okay? So I've obviously gone past 10 bins. So I'm gonna go all the way up to uh, 0.8, and then so all these that are past 0 0.8, I know, I'm not going to have any data that falls into those categories, into those ranges. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete those. And that's what about what I want. So if you have nine bins, that's fine. If you have 10, that's fine. If you have about 11 bins, that's okay. I wouldn't spread it out any more than about 10 or 11 bins. Okay. So now we need to go ahead and collect our data uh, to basically take all of our numbers in our data set here and then place them into our bins, okay, for our histogram. So again, what I need to do is highlight my data or my bins here for my data. And again, I'm going to do data name ranges. And again, what I'm going to do is call this bins2. Again, we called the first one bins1. One, so we're going to call this one bins2 and then hit done. Okay. And now we're ready for our frequency formula. Okay. So I'm going to go into the cell underneath my histogram title. And I'm going to go ahead and hit equal sign. And this time I'm going to type in frequency. Okay. Okay, now I still need to reference my cubes. Okay, so cubes two. This time I'm going to put comma. 
bins and search for bins to close parentheses. Now I want all of my data to go into this. So I'm not going to hit enter just yet. I'm going to do control shift enter and then hit enter again. Okay. And that will now place all of my numbers that I want into my bins. Okay. So that was control shift enter. Uh, I believe if you have a Mac, it's command shift enter. Um, so that will then take all of my data and then place it into each bin. And so now you can see uh, how many numbers in my data set fall within each one of those bins. And so now we're ready to create our histogram chart. So I'm going to highlight uh, both the bins column and the histogram column. Uh, I'm going to leave out the last zero. And then I'm going to go to insert. And I'm going to go to chart. Give that a second. Okay, and this is the one you want. Okay, we're doing a column chart here. Uh, you want to make sure your bins are at the bottom, histograms here. Um, and so we're going to change a little bit here. And we're going to do, we're going to take out histogram versus bins, and we're going to call it um, puzzle cube. Mass data histogram. All right, that. And then I'm going to also change uh, the um, y axis title here from histogram. I'm going to call it uh, fre uh, frequency here. Okay. And bins can go here. We'll just name it like we did last time. It's big frequency. And oh, we called it puzzle cubes on the bottom. So we'll just do that again. So we'll change bins to puzzle cubes. Okay. All right. So there is our histogram. Okay. And so now what you're going to need to do uh, is you are now going to complete questions four, five. Okay, we've gone ahead and completed six. Now you need to find uh, the ranges of the standard deviations by again, adding the mean plus the standard deviation and subtracting the standard deviation. And then multiplying the standard deviation by two. And then that'll give you your second uh, standard deviation. And you'll color it just like you did for the first uh, example of just R cubes. Okay, so that is basically how you go ahead and create the histogram. That's how you find your summary statistics uh, using the correct formulas. So if you have any questions um, after watching this video, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, you'll just need to go back in, find the first standard deviation and color these uh, uh, accurately. And then also the second standard deviation. And if there's a, a need for a third standard deviation, you would uh, choose a third color. Thank you very much. Appreciate you guys listening to this and I will see you in class.